Hey Stampers! Welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Aubrey and today I'm excited to share with you a fun way to color your ribbon. So I was having a conversation with a fellow demonstrator last week and she was telling me that she she had been playing around and watching videos on YouTube and she came across one with somebody dyeing their polka dot tool ribbon, which I love this ribbon. It's such a good one to use. And they wanted it in multiple colors, which I agree. And they dyed it with the Stampin' Up! Reinkers, which is a great idea. But I thought, I bet we could make it easier than dyeing it with reinkers, and I bet it would dry way faster. If you know me, you know that I love Stampin' Blends. I use them almost daily in my creating and it's and they're some of my favorite things so they pop, they instantly popped into my head and I thought I bet you could dye that ribbon with blends so I wanted to show you what that looks like I'm gonna take this is granny apple green the dark granny apple green and I'm just gonna color right on top of that ribbon and you're gonna see it automatically change now, when you're actually coloring this, like while you're coloring it, it'll get on your fingers, but it dries really quickly. So I'm gonna set that aside just for while I'm finishing this video and then I'll show you how quickly it dried. And But then I was thinking, as I was getting ready for this video, we could do this with any white ribbon, really. So here's our classic weave ribbon in white and I'm gonna dye this one real red, dark real red. Ooh, it's gonna look like a watermelon. Cute, now I wanna make a watermelon card. And then I grabbed our Flax Whisper White Ribbon. I'm gonna do that one. This is Light Mango Melody. Like that. And then this is our new Very Vanilla Scalloped Lace Trim. And this one's so pretty. Really, you don't need to do anything to it, but I thought, how pretty would it be? if you gave it a little petal pink dye here. I think that'll just make it just a little more elegant. So fun. Look at that. You can get all sorts of colors from our white ribbon. Now I wanna show you, this is already dry. It doesn't even rub off. So when you go to place it on your project, it's not going to get all over at your fingers or your paper that you're working with. So next, let's try an ombre look. This is dark Calypso Coral and here's light. Let's see. Oh yeah. Ooh, see that? How it's all blending together on there. That's fun think of the possibilities. It's like mind blowing. So go to your craft room, find your white ribbon and your blends and experiment and play and see what colors you can come up with using your stamp and blends. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next week for another Watch It Weekly Wednesday.